What's up guys, welcome to a new video. This time we're gonna level a warrior. I'm currently level, tw level 22, Alliance of course, on Elysium PvP. Thinking I will uh, post this around once a week, so uh, there is at least some content going up on the channel. And uh, there will be more PvP on my Shaman as soon as I get some clips together. So, we're in we're in dark share. I'm gonna start off this adventure. I'm gonna play for roughly one hour and see how far, how far we can get. This is the best I can do, like a substitute su to streaming. Since it means that it's too sucky to stream right now. And the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna empty the mailbox. We sold some nice stuff. Swiftness potion to gold 24 silver. That's just very nice indeed. Those swiftness potions are carrying me so hard right now. <laughs> and there's actually a... Uh, a bugged spot in Westfall, so you can pull up, pull it up for the map here. Here, all these herbs you see here, they spawned at once. So I was just running around here, picking Briarthorn, Mage Royals, and Earth Roots, and all that jazz, and I got a lot of Swift Swift Thistles, so I could make, uh, I believe it was 12 uh, Swiftness Potions. So that's awesome. I always go with alchemy and herbalism. Those are the my go-to professions for gold making on uh, on any server. It's just so easy. It's like it's just like printing uh, printing gold. So we're gonna talk to the mayor, I believe, to start the uh, the main quest chain here for the night watch. All right, I guess not. Let's see. Do, 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 do. The night watch. All right, okay. We're gonna slay some skeletons. My bad. We could uh, pick up the uh, the ghost hair or comb while we're at it. I guess the hermit would be too low to do that right now. I'll get rest experience, and uh, yeah, we should be able to uh, to make a cool thing. A totem of infliction. Bring. 10 ghoul fangs, 10 skeleton fingers, 5 veils, spider venom. Oh, Alright. We're gonna. We're gonna fight. Uh, seek out. In the town hall. We're gonna start the legend of Stelvan. Uh, as well. Just because why not? And we're gonna do the totem of infliction. <coughs> since we're actually moving through that area with the uh, skeletons. It's always a good idea to. Uh, to pick up some quests. I ain't gonna travel to Moonbrook right now, I'm gonna do that at a later time. Probably off camera, so to speak. And I actually got uh, some blues on this character. I bought myself two Racer's Edges. Just because uh, I wanted to actually roll Fury this time. Since arms... I don't really like <coughs> arms that much for leveling. So... Uh, People said go Fury. It's a, it's the supposed the supposedly best leveling spec. So I'm gonna gonna try that out. And uh, currently I'm loving it. It's actually actually very nice. It's a faster, a lot faster pace than uh, arms. I believe you can pick up a quest here if I rem remember correctly. I th oh there's uh, Blind Mary. Shouldn't we? I've gotten a quest in Dark Shire f to that to do that ghost comb thing. <coughs> yeah, I, I can't really rem remember, so just gonna mosey on, mosey on along, I guess. Then we can do the uh, Bride of the Embalmer as soon as we get to the uh, Raven Hill. Oh, there's a buttload of people! This is uh, unfortunate. Uh oh, got skeleton. Immune. Really? You're immune to charge? What is that? <laughs> I call shenanigans on that, actually. See if they can actually invite me, that would be grand. Since fighting over mobs is silly, and uh, I'm just gonna keep stealing whatever I can, if they don't want to group. Since I don't really want to spend uh, all, all the episode on these uh, skeletons here. Hopefully, we uh, won't be doing that. We're gonna 
check of that. We can just check, check the progression. People everywhere, dudes. Insane ghoul. He drops a quest, I believe. Charge! No! Crap. He drops a... Uh, I believe it's a pickup quest for some uh, nice easy turning experience. I guess those guys don't want to group up, so it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> Actually, did uh, Dead Minds in this character also very nice, smooth run. Got the uh, cape of the Brotherhood. Actually, won the role over a hunter. I guess he he got pretty pretty upset by that. But uh, the cloak actually beat the shit, uh, shit out of my previous cloak since my previous cloak didn't even have stats so uh, yeah win win nice nice chunk of agility and 3 stamina also managed to get my pants 11 strength and 5 stamina which is awesome and I also uh, won the uh, two handed mace of the, uh, the Toran boss so winning yeah those guys are immune to rend I should have remembered that so I can possibly go two hand fury if I want to at some point which could be fun I've seen a few uh, few funny moments with fury I don't really want to die here would be bad and I died wow really <laughs> I actually thought I had a uh, had a potion on me, but nope, I did not. That's that's hilarious. Well, you've all seen how uh, how terribly bad it, bad it can go when you uh, when you don't remember what you have in your bags. <laughs> Great, uh, fun times. I always manage to die a lot as a warrior. Okay, let's not repeat that blunder. Let's uh, remember to eat in between every few mobs. I'm trusting too much in my uh, in my blue weaponry, apparently. You know, blues blues don't make you make you a uh, a uh, invincible machine. And since, since these guys are pretty tough, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop minor fortitude. Let's get some more HP. It's always a good idea. And every time I get crit, I proc blood craze, regen some health, which is good. And I actually picked up first aid as well, and uh, lucked out a lot with the wool cloth. So uh, I'm pretty much stuck up on wool cloth bandages. I have to use my heavy linen in between everything there's a warrior up there let's see does this give me a boost to anything let's eat it for a few seconds and see because uh, all buffs are very welcome oh yep we got a buff got stamina and spirit increase by six which is very nice I actually found a bug on this server with charge, if uh, if you charge up a steep hill, you will actually fall through the world. I thought uh, private servers were, were past that kind of thing. Uh, it never happened on Ostadrius and uh, didn't even happen on Kronos. So I got pretty pretty surprised when I fall through the world. But then you got teleported up to uh, exactly the same spot, but still annoying. And sometimes when you charge, your character won't face the uh, the thing you're charging and uh, gets a bit annoying but I guess that will be fixed at some po at some point those casters are the bane of my existence oh, sorry for the creaky chair there and to oil that damn thing up yeah these skeletons are the bane of my existence they hurt a lot and I need to put blood rage to uh, have a shot to kill these guys and all the other dudes left so I'm pretty much alone here one thing 
that is good about fighting undead is uh, that they don't run away, which is very nice. <coughs> so you don't have to worry about uh, about any annoying mob pulls. Let's invite this dude. I believe in you. Come on, man. Be friendly. Yes, he's friendly. Awesome. You can truck along at a faster pace. Oh, what? What is this shenanigans, yo? Shenanigans. How did I pull th these guys? <laughs> I guess there's a little dude inside the uh, the crap here. Inside the tree. Sorry. Ah, oh, what? That's weird. That's we really weird. Whoa, he crits like a bass. I guess yeah, he has a two-hander. Yeah, I, I, I just, I'm flabbergasted here. I just don't know how I actually managed to pull those two. If I was alone, I would have been dead meat. Yes, totally dead. Let's uh, invite that dude as well. Because, oh, insane ghoul. Insane ghoul. She accepted the invite. And I really, really want to, uh, to pick up this quest. She popped some blood rage. What? Didn't drop the quest? That's awkward. Should drop a quest. Mary's looking glass. Ah, where? Oh well. We can come back at some point, I guess. Because I'm, I'm fairly sure that uh, that she should drop. Uh, she, he, the insane ghoul. He should drop a quest. Uh, a tome or some something like that. I can't jump over. Or maybe the that's in a previous expansion or not previous I mean expansion or a patch or something I don't know had to check that out let's try to jump over thank you this aggro man what where did you come from right we're gonna make my life life hard you're making me look bad skeleton okay I just need one more mage, then we're out of here. Freaking hilarious. Uh, oh, right, uh, what? I can still pick pick up some skeleton fingers, even though uh, I'm done with the fingers. That's awkward. I'm probably too low, uh, too low level to uh, to get that insane ghoul quest. Freaking wonky loot, man. Right, we're done with that quest. We can move. What weird, la weird ass lag when you open the uh, the uh, what's it called the quest log. It's kind of weird. The totem of infliction. Ghoul fangs. We need some ghoul fangs. So I guess we could. Uh, run over <coughs> to the uh, oh crap level 29s I'm out of here I guess we could run over to the Raven Hill and uh, let's take a look on the uh, quest quest level range over there and if if that's too high I must Gonna have to backtrack to Red Ridge for a bit and do some quests there. I think I have uh, fa Lieutenant Fangor to do and uh, oh no, not that dude. We're gonna we're gonna run. Stitches is dangerous and he's after me, man. Oh balls! I'm gonna die again. This ain't good. I freaking hate you, Stitches. You're 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 a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> oh, why? Why have to do that? Uh, that quest is so fun to do. You turn, uh, turn in. Uh, I think it's the last quest when uh, the embalmer sends stitches to Dark, Dark Share. He just kills everything on his way. <laughs> Hopefully, we won't aggro that dude anymore. We can probably just uh, just carry on. I think it was. Uh, on one server, I don't remember which server it was, but there was like ten stitches, ten stitches, 
in uh, in Dorshire. Kind of hilarious. They were just owning up the place. I wonder if that is possible on this server as well, because that would be really funny to uh, organize a stitches turn in and just uh, watch ten of those guys just go to uh, go to Dorkshire and just rape everyone. That would be uh, hilarious, actually. And yeah, in other news, Hellground seems to be uh, shut down. Actually, uh, kind of surprised by that. That project wa project wasn't uh, very long lived at all. Like two weeks, maybe. Then it got shut down. So the tinfoil hat rumors around the uh, internet is that Blizzard actually shut them down. But yeah, I have a kind of hard time believing that. Actually, Hellground wasn't that impressive in population. So I don't really think Blizzard would care, and since the server has been officially around for like eight years, it would be kind of suspicious for them to actually turn, turn off the server, or turn, yeah, shut down the server now. So there's kind of some lies going around. I just believe the Hillground do shut it down themselves, or maybe their internet provider shut it down. I have no idea. I haven't really research the topic at all and I actually don't really care either since I don't uh, pygmy spider pygmy venom spiders all right let's do that since I don't actually damn that quest I I shouldn't open that quest log anymore seriously that, that weird ass lag it needs to stop eight ligaments all right I believe there's plenty of these dudes around where Sven is at. So uh, we're gonna pop in to Ravenhill, then we're gonna pop over to S pop over to Sven and we're gonna see uh, if we can do some quests. And I really really hope that my internet actually stays stable there news because uh, otherwise I have, I have to uh, cut and edit in stuff which is annoying and that's a really big part of the kind of lack of content on my channel right now since my internet modem is uh, kind of on the fritz I have to buy a new one so uh, yeah gonna have to do that when I get my uh, get my salary which is annoying since I've had a had a modem for like eight years so I guess it's time for it to have hiccups and uh, Eventually it will probably die, so uh, yeah, gonna have to spend some bucks to, uh, to get a new modem. And hopefully, and hopefully, I really really hope uh, when I get a new modem I will hopefully get more, a little bit more speed. Since I have 24 down and 3 up at the moment, I get uh, I get like 2 up, so I, I lose 1 hole, make a bit of speed which is really annoying and I lose uh, a lot of down so hopefully when I get my new modem I could probably probably stream I really hope so because I really would like to uh, try that out on YouTube seems seems fun try to interact a bit with you guys and stuff like that it would be hilarious because some of you are really funny gonna just gonna have to see what the time I have to offer Raven Hill. Uh, can you stand still, please? Annoying douche. Thank you. Eaters. Growing guts. Okay, we're gonna have to speak with the chef in, uh, in Dorkshire. Because that dude, that snitchy dude, he wants food. And he's too scared to actually go, uh, go get it himself. And I believe Sven is around here somewhere in the bushes. He's just camping out here, chilling, having a drink, I guess. And uh, green recluse. No, I want to pygmies. I have to stand still when I open the damn quest log because the lag. Don't know why it's why it's like that right now. The, the, the chords. 6.1 Okay So uh, Let's try to find it 
around the water here, presumably. Somewhere. On the other side. In Westfall, maybe? I don't know. Seems weird. I'm gonna find them eventually, I guess. Oh, here, here, here they are. Around 11.49, not 6. Freaking, freaking misleading quest add-on for the winning. And now we can actually rend. I have found that rend is not very useful in most situations actually. The damage is kind of kind of low. Kind of just using it as a rage dump, I guess. We need stuff from these guys. Do we need legs or is slaying those guys because it seems like it's bugged. Yeah, slain. These are not the guys we actually need. The uh, the quest add-on seems to be a bit buggy. So, uh, hmm, that's annoying. Gonna have to find Sven. Where are you, dude? <coughs> He should be around here somewhere, if I re remember correctly. I really want to uh, not open that quest log too much. There is, because of the uh, weird, weird ass screen lag. I don't know why it's doing that. Seems like Elysium, the official Elysium realm, not Anathema, is more bugged in some ways. Oh, 925 experience, sweet. Sven's revenge. Go to Sven's farm and find what was buried behind the old stump. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't gonna be doing that anytime soon. Uh, the wolves at our heels. Kill 12 starving dire wolves and 8 rabid dire wolves. So I guess he's along the bank here, so I'm gonna, gonna take that. Uh, I think, think there are a lot of wolves just all, all along the bank here. So, uh, yeah. There we go, there's a rabbit die wolf. I'm gonna attack him. He's gonna hang out in this general area for a while. And try to complete the quest. Oh no, please, please dude, I'm seeing that you want to kill me, and I will be very unhappy with you if you do that. I will actually... It's, oh, it's gonna be a... It's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a duel of fates here, Hunter versus Hunter, the lamest duel in World of Warcraft. Just standing there shooting at, shooting at each other, and then he's actually gonna die. He's gonna die. Oh yeah, they actually kill each other. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's funny stuff. Oh, hunters are so boring to watch. It's probably the most boring class to actually watch PvP. And especially if, if it's two hunters versus each other. Because they basically just stand and shoot at each other. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright. We need ghoul fangs. We need to see the hermit as well. Oh, they're level 27, I can't do that. Probably not. I'm 22, and as a warrior, I'm having a real, real hard time killing anything that's uh, three or four levels, levels above me. That's really hard. So warriors are a bit of a challenge, and I thought uh, could be, could be fun to try to get 160. I've always wanted a warrior on a, on a vanilla server, but they've always broke my spirit because they're so freaking annoying to level. But if if you can keep a uh, a nice gold purse, I believe gold wallet. If you if you have a lot of gold, if you can keep that up and actually uh, deck you deck yourself out as you progress, it becomes a lot a lot easier gear dependent as all hell warriors are it's, uh... there we go there's some pygmies 
Okay, we're on the track. So we have some pygmies here. So I'm gonna s try to slay some of them. But even though warriors are very ge gear dependent, when you actually have gear, you can just melt, melt people. A vial of spider venom. Okay, we need that too for the totem infl of infliction. It's gonna be sweet. Can't wait to actually get to uh, strangle thorn on this server. I just want to see it. I remember, uh, I remember Nostalgia's strangle thorn. It was crazy. Freaking people everywhere. Yes, PvP. Speak to Madam Eve. Uh, <laughs> PvP everywhere and just getting corpse camped. Hilarious. I love it. Alright, with wolves, we've got spiders with everything we need here. That's an amazing. Hopefully, we can have, have it all to ourselves so the uh, competition from other people stays at this level and I will be happy. I actually need to move that bar to the other side at some point. I'm just too lazy. I, ooh, ooh. Pygmy? Yeah, pygmy. I've, I've been telling myself this for like uh, three days. You need to, uh, you need to move the, uh, the bar. What? No! Steal! You tried to steal my stuff, man. Yeah, as I was saying, I've been, been telling myself to move that bar for ages. I just never got around to it. I was trying to take two mobs at the same time. But uh, I got denied. Probably for the uh, for the better, actually. I'm just gonna loot everything, just for the uh, simple reason is that I need gold. I'm gonna have to go and train. That's expensive. I have to buy new stuff at some point. Just gonna vendor everything, and you know, every every single silver and every single copper counts. Everything counts. And actually, don't know uh, if uh, I'm going to take improve cleave for one or improve battle shout for one because I'm gonna take piercing howl, and then I, I need one more point to get 15. And I don't know improve cleave or improve battle shout. If anyone want to help me with that choice, just post in the comment section below, and I will be most, most pleased. I will be very, very, very thankful for any advice regarding warriors since I've never had a had a cap warrior in vanilla so I'm kind of, kind, of, kind of a noob at the warrior so any advice is uh, is appreciated I only had a uh, had a warrior at cap in the uh, Wrath of the Lich King expansion I actually did uh, recruit a friend with a mate of mine he and he ended up quitting but uh, yeah whatever anyway I got my warrior to cap and I had a blast just doing doing everything armor penetration and uh, yeah it was awesome actually got uh, got my hot streak achievement with the warrior in 2v2 <laughs> I had so shitty gear but, <laughs> but I was playing with a uh, with a rest of druid you know power of cyclone so uh, I got the uh, the epic mace from one of those uh, Dungeons, I believe it was uh, Peter Saron, the uh, the Frost Giant Epic Mace uh, from Heroic difficulty, I believe, which had armor pen on it too, and I believe three sockets if I rem remember correctly. So I just smacked everything armor penetration, and we uh, we rolled, and um, we we rolled some arena, and I was like, we had like eight wins, I believe, in a row. And uh, we were like, okay, let's just push that, uh, try to get that uh, that hot streak achievement, and it was awesome. Uh, the two last fight, uh, fights, I believe we, we only fought like uh, simple DPS teams, so we kind of smashed them, which was awesome. I, I miss Red the Lich King a lot, it was an awesome expansion. And no, I don't really want to play on Warmain. I, 
those servers are trash. I don't like them at all. I played there for for a little bit when I one of my friends was playing there. He said he said it was an awesome realm, and I leveled. Oh, the thunder again! I leveled uh, a uh, mage, I believe, and I got up to. Uh, he boosted me, so I got up to the uh, level uh, seventy, and uh, I was so disappointed with with all the bugs. Uh, in Howling Fjord. Nope, nope, in Borean Thundra. I was so disappointed with all the bugs there, so I just quit. I said, fuck this, goodbye. I uh, I hate bugs. It's not fun. It's, it ruins the experience a lot. And that was the uh, was the case when I actually tried Hellground. Uh, I only got to like level 14 because I got so sick of all the bugs and uh, bad scripting and mobs just being very weird in general so I kind of gave that up very quickly even so the server got shut down so I guess uh, didn't really lose too much got the venom spider there, got the wolfie there got the progress along, okay let's do that, blood rage and cleave, let's cleave 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 I love cleaving, I, lo I like it a lot I just like the name cleave Sounds am sounds amazing to me. Sounds like so f so awesome. What? what? Tower horde hunter. It's a hunter showdown in the woods here. He's probably looking for the, uh, the night elf hunter that uh, killed his friend. Oh, nice drop rate on the venom. Actually, we just need one more, and then we we only need ghoul fangs. So uh, if we're lucky, we're gonna ding of these uh, mobs here. We can do uh, the ghouls. Get some of those fangs. I actually don't remember what uh, what reward you get for the uh, totem of infliction. I believe you get some uh, some green stuff, I guess. Can't remember. I need to get some uh, some kind of add-on to keep track of all the rewards. Because some quest rewards are actually ridiculously good. Uh, I think uh, I think there's an elite at the uh, at the Raven Hill, uh, Morladim. I think it's called that. That quest is also very very nice. You get a uh, ridiculously good uh, sword from that quest. I re remember back in the Burning Crusade, I uh, used to do that uh, that quest to get uh, the sword because the sword could be enchanted with. Uh, Burning Crusade enchants because it, it had a item level of, of 35, so you can actually enchant it with uh, awesome enchants like Executioner and Mongoose and stuff like that, which was awesome. I had a uh, had a Paladin Twink actually, <laughs> Retribution. I believe it was 29. It was awesome. Ended up going around pooning people a lot, and uh, that Paladin actually ended up being uh, level capped. At a late date, in both Cataclysm, Mr. Pandaria, Wallace of Drenner. Uh, that was the last time I kept that Paladin. Then I actually quit, so yeah. Memories. We need two more Rabid Die Wolves. Inventory is full, so whatever. And then I believe we uh, need a few more of the normal green ones at least the level 19's not green to me and we dinged! awesome! gonna have some piercing howl gonna have to bind that at some point have to do it right now don't wanna waste some time just gonna give it an easy bind oh, not macro gonna give it an easy bind if we can find where we have it yeah, I'm gonna go through all the uh, stuff here there we go that's gonna give it a shift 4 easy bind easy to get I like to keep uh, all my shouts at uh, shift and uh, then I have the uh, stances of control 1, 2 and 3 when we get berserker stance and hopefully I could uh, get that sweet sweet uh, blue two-hander from the uh, Berserker uh, quest. 
that's uh, whirlwind stuff because that is so 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 good weapon actually would be very oh, they're fighting Eliza it would be very cool to actually go two-handed fury with that weapon and I actually don't know if two-handed fury is good or not but but it seems fun I like I like I kind of like uh, weird underdog specs I think it's awesome That's probably why I'm so drawn to playing Enhancement Shaman because it's just, it's, nobody really uh, really sees Enhancement as a threat until you blow them up. <laughs> uh, before I quit ranking, I actually quit ranking because I got ranked 10. Uh, that's a story of another, another video. But anyway, I was playing a, 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 Rati, a Rati Basin and uh, that guy was uh, beginning to damage one dude and I just walked up to him and one one shot him and he actually whispered me oh damn dude you just blow him up blow him up man it's like yep that just happened that just happened man but uh, yeah most people probably don't realize that uh, those th those kind of uh, insane winning fear procs don't really happen too often and the lag from the quest log is gone amazing Yeah, most most people don't realize that uh, those kind of crits are uh, not very uh, common. Oh, competition! Go away, please! Just taking everything. I don't need rabid ones though, but leave some starvings, please. I would appreciate that. We also need more pygmy spiders, but I'm 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 not gonna run around here hunting those the entire episode because that's just boring. It's boring to me, and it's boring to you. Ah, oh, those are teaming up, man. Consecrations, Holy Paladin and Warrior. Awesome combination. So I actually really hope I could stick to this schedule, because uh, I want to upload a Warrior Living episode every Friday uh, to get... Uh, just to get that set for myself since uh, sometimes it drags on I don't have time and uh, need to find clips for PvP and stuff like that because if if I don't introduce something else to the channel the channel will go like a month here no content a month there no content and uh, yeah I don't I don't want to be one of those channels I kind of just want to pump out count content if I can and I'm actually trying to get clips uh, for a long, long world PvP montage, actually. Since people want longer, they will get longer, but it will take some time to uh, gather the clips. And uh, since I'm actually officially done ranking, I actually have time to, uh, to do stuff I want to do in-game for a change. <laughs> you know, uh, farming that rank, even though uh, I only did rank 10. It took up such a hilariously insane amount of time just to get rank 10. Uh, and I was only able to do like 160k uh, honor a week, which is like nothing. <laughs> and it actually made the journey take a lot longer since uh, I just don't have time to uh, play to get to 300k honor. And when I finally got rank 10, I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can actually push this and uh, try to get uh, further on the ranking. And I actually made some decent headway onto rank 10, progressing towards 11. But then, uh, then uh, the uh, whole chargeback drama happened on Elysium and actually lost progress actually got bumped back down to rank 9 and I said, yeah, well, fuck this. I don't want to want to do this anymore. I got my gear, I got my rank 10, I'm satisfied. I'm exalted with AV, AB and Warsong. I'm satisfied, I'm gonna move on. And that's what I did. Now I can actually enjoy leveling, leveling an alt. I can enjoy uh, world PvPing. What? Arch Combi? Is that actually fighting Eliza? 
That's really weird. That's his dead wife. Freaking bug in the system, man. Got some bright thorn. Gonna have to mosey on and get that. The bright thorn is my bre bread and butter at the moment. Let's make. No, oh, come on, come on. What? Ah, oh, damn physics, man. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, the bright thorn is my bread and butter at the moment. It's making me gold. It's paying my in game bills, so to speak. Hopefully, it will proc some swift. Yes, it procs some swift pistol. That's awesome. It's a hilariously difficult word to pronounce <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> yep, we ain't gonna be doing uh, the ghouls anytime soon. I'm too low level. I can't do it. It's uh, too hard. I just end up dying or pull more than I can handle. Like that dude did. These ghouls. Uh, I remember uh, these ghouls just always kicking my ass, man. They were notoriously. Okay, that's weird. Lag again from the quest log. Yeah, those ghouls are notoriously hard to uh, to kill. They're difficult. They tend to uh, aggro very easily, also. Alright, we're gonna turn in wolves at our heels. Supplies for dark share, speak with Madame Eve. Gonna have to do that, but I am probably not gonna run back. I was gonna hearth back, I guess. And the totem of infliction, gonna do that at a later time. The Legend of Stalvan at Moonbrook. Don't really want to run down there right now. Nightwatch, we've done that. Eight legged menace. That's 6 out of 15. I know we could probably stay back here for a little bit, try to find some of those guys. Pygmies. Uh, could try to run along the bank below Sven Sven's camp. Hopefully, there are some spiders. Spideresses? Spiders there that we could kill. Would be satisfying. Sven, my love, where are you? Just pygmy also, he's dead though. Sven's camp should be over here somewhere. Let's kill him. Sven is uh, such a uh, unimportant, uh, unimportant dude, I just can't re almost never remember where his camp is at. But we managed to find it. I believe that uh, Sven, the uh, his revenge, is a long flash, flash bundle. Nice. Have to throw something out. Let's throw out a patch of fur. Don't need that. Just want to complete the quest. Thank you. Thirteen hundred experience. A cool thirteen hundred. Awesome. If we stand still, still that freaking quest log lag, man. It's annoying. Show map. Hopefully it works. All right, pretty much along the bank here, as I was uh, suspicious of the spiders being around here. So I guess uh, I guess the spiders are linked to each other's spawn. So we're gonna have to eradicate some of these uh, normal spiders to probably spawn some uh, pygmy ones. That's usually how it works. There's a few quests that have shared spawns with some other similar mobs. Similar to the, uh, if you uh, if you guys remember the uh, hunting quests in Stranglethorn. Notorious, the uh, panthers and tigers share their spawn. Can we team up with that dude? Let's team it. Come on, man. Team up, bro. Brohim. Okay, be a dick. Be a douche, then, bro. Be a douche. I just want to get this done quicker. Not, don't really want to fight over the mobs. I guess he's salty because I stole his, uh, stole his pygmy from him. Oh well then. Oh well then, pal. 
and um, everything is dead. <laughs> gonna have to kill this spider here. Hopefully, my uh, hopefully my uh, suspicions are proven to be correct. So hopefully, there will there will spawn some extra pygmies at some point. Actually, have rested experience for quite a while. It's awesome. Loving me some rested. Twice the uh, twice the speed leveling. Awesome. A pygmy. Awesome. And yeah, I'm aware. I say awesome a lot. Sorry about that. It's my favorite word. And I. I'm probably gonna have to buy new one hunters very soon. These are getting kind of stale. I got them very cheap. Uh, I think it was like one gold each. So two gold for both of them. Which made me a very happy camper. All the pygmies are dead. This is... what is that? Oh, it's a demon. <clears throat> this is one thing I, I don't like about these... Uh, Oh, don't try to do that, dude. Don't try to aggro him and run off with him, so you can reset him. Uh, this is one thing I don't really like with uh, these uh, kind of high population vanilla servers. The competition for everything is insane. Uh, which kind of makes it uh, annoying when you try to, uh, try to record leveling episodes, because you... <laughs> You uh, spend more time actually standing around waiting for stuff than actually <laughs> doing something. Inventory is full, as always. So I guess this episode will be up tomorrow, because this will take HOURS to render out. Always, uh, when I used to do the Kronos leveling stuff, it took like 4 or 5 hours to render episode. Which is a lot, actually. Especially since you actually want to use your computer. Actually, oh, I, ac I, I, just don't, I just have one computer, so I render, record and everything on one machine. No! Damn it! Uh, yeah, so if I uh, if I render for hours, I actually can't use the computer for pretty much anything. I could I could watch a movie or something, but I can't play any games. Uh, so uh, probably gonna have to set it to render in the morning before I go off to work, and then hopefully by the time I uh, by the time I return from work. Uh, six hours or six and a half hours later, it will be hopefully it's done, and it will probably take a while to upload. So I guess around ten-ish Friday, I guess this episode will be live, hopefully, and I hope you will enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I hope it hope 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 it will be good times. Oh, these pygmies are pissing me off. You have to spawn already, please. So yeah, I'm pretty much gonna gonna do. I need five more. I'm gonna find find five more of these dudes. Then we're gonna wrap this up uh, because uh, this segment has been taking way too long. We're gonna turn in the quests, of course. We're gonna do that. Of course, we're gonna do that. Uh, and then we're gonna call it a uh, call it a episode. Venom, I say Venom one. Gonna have to kill it anyway. Seems like like everything is respawning now. Gonna have to be fast if we want to score some of these guys. And I actually don't know if uh, if the PvP stuff has been released on this server or not, but I, I don't think it has. So I'm not in a v extreme rush to get 60 but even though I want to get 60 before the PvP gear is out 
because uh, it could be cool to uh, to be there for for a change before everything is live. I was too late on those daggers. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, yeah. So I kind of want to experience that. So I'm gonna have to uh, have to do this pretty pretty fast. <laughs> Hopefully, I could get 60 before it's out. Because I mean, uh, I'm I'm not really in uh, in a uh, in a rush to actually get back to ranking a new character or grinding those battleground reputations. Because that is just one thing I find to be very very boring. <laughs> uh, actually, when I actually hit Exalted with uh, Arete Basin and Warsong on uh, on my Shaman. <coughs> I actually said, never again. This is so freaking boring. Never again. Uh, since I don't do premates, I, I just solo queue everything. And yeah, it took quite a while to get that stuff done. No! Freak, freak, freak. I wanted to pull that second, uh, second guy, the pygmy. Because those guys are gonna try to take him away from me. Oh yeah! Come on, faster, please. Thanks. So yeah, as you can see, if you're actually a few levels be above the creature you're trying to kill, and you actually have good weapons, you're just gonna shred them to pieces. You can just, you can kill a few without having to eat in between every every single one, which is awesome. And the reason for picking up all those venom sacks is because uh, those are used for uh, for anti uh, venom bandages and other stuff, so you can actually sell them for a uh, decent amount of silver on the auction house. All right, the last pygmy is in the bag. <laughs> actually want uh, to get a new attack soon because just heroic strike heroic strike hamstring heroic strike hamstring <laughs> is kind of uh, getting getting boring <laughs> so and uh, in between those oh crap in, in between those rare case cases that uh, you actually can use overpower <laughs> uh, I'm probably probably hopefully going to record a dungeon video here and there as we go on on this uh, adventure here and uh, sometimes I will be tanking I guess and sometimes I will be DPSing because uh, I actually like tanking as a warrior in vanilla it's, it's fun it's actually one of the few classes that uh, actually want to do something else but DPSing uh, since I don't heal. I never do that. Uh, I never do that on my shame because healing is very boring. I hate it. It's it's just boring. But uh, as a warrior, I have the option to, to tank and I actually enjoy tanking. It's awesome and fun, exciting. It's uh, it's kind of that uh, versus tanking versus healing. For me, at least, tanking is exciting. You're making the calls. You're pulling all that jazz. You're holding the aggro. It's constant action all the time but healing just push heal 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 yada yada all the time it's boring it's not fun okay we're gonna have to turn that in here I'm gonna clean the map at some point then it's after dark here we're gonna hearth back because this run is long and filled with dangers lurks things out in the dark you know don't want to run 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 into stitches again because that dude's mean don't want to die anymore I've died twice in this episode one from just being a klutz and one from running right into stitches I probably should uh, should sacrifice some briar thorns to make some healing potions mm, yeah sounds like a good idea I guess I could sacrifice five briar thorns 
make five potions just to have some potions on me. I could make one swiftness potion, but yeah, one swiftness potion is not worth selling actually. And we picked up a green too, I believe. Yeah, we did. 12 plus beast slaying. That is one sick ass leather chest actually. Wow, 12 plus beast. 12 plus beast slaying. Cool. Could be 12 plus fire damage instead. That would be so sweet if it was cloth also. Let's horde again. Hunter. Is that hunt? It's just hunters everywhere here. Knight. Watch gauntlets. Uh, gonna have to delete some lean wolf flanks to uh, get those. Do I have better? Yeah, I have five strength ones. Those are better. Yeah. Losing one strength and gaining one agility. Yeah, not, not worth it anytime soon. Actually losing two armor as well. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it at all. We're gonna hearth back to Darkshire. Turn in some quests, vendor some stuff, and then we will call the day. Scarlet Raven Tavern. Uh, yeah, we need to pick up that for Jitters as well. Uh, gonna prompt a new quest here. Uh, gather six gooey spider legs and bring them to Chef Grutal in Darkshire. All right, now grew, grew all, not grew tall, man. Jesus, I really need to uh, look at things before I uh, speak. So, oh, Stitches is dead. He's gone. <laughs> uh, train me? Nope. We need to sell stuff. Just gonna repair, just in case. Let's sell all this stuff here. Spider eye core. I don't know. Could hang on to those. Could hang on to those. I don't know if they're used for anything, but I believe they are. Just gonna auction them off. Ooh, got nine goldies. Amazing. All right, let's turn in some quests. Seventeen silver. Awesome. I actually prefer money as a reward than uh, gear. Commander Althea Ebonlock of Darkshire wants you to kill 15 skeletal, f skeletal fiends and 15 skeletal horrors. Right. We shall do that for you. For a handsome reward, of course. Here's Madden Eve. Supplies from Darkshire. Bring the spect... Oh, there's the spectral comb. Yeah. Alright. Uh, here, take this spectral comb. As primary to, co to comb, comb her hair. Okay, we're gonna go visit Mary. It's not too far away. We've got some time, so uh, we're gonna visit Mary. Gonna scare her or make her angry at us. Set the quest. Kaylor. Got a quest for me, Kaylor. Work in the woods. Just pick up that for later. We're way too low level to. Uh, to be dealing with wargans at the moment. Just gonna save that. I believe Blind Mary is around here somewhere. Off in a cabin. Just just by the skeletal uh, mages and warriors, I believe. Uh, and hopefully she won't give us... What? <laughs> Cat stealthing in the woods. Hopefully she won't give us a quest. So, uh, entering combat, what? Oh, alright. Okay, here's some horrors here too. That's good to know. Gonna turn into Blind Mary. What is this, a comb? It's, a, it's lovely and uh, it glides through my hair as if, as if I weren't the, the stiff, stringly horror that it is. Uh, well, I butchered that sentence totally. Sorry, I'm as tired. <laughs> oh, if only I had a mirror. Yeah, you're pretty much dead, Blind Mary. Dead. No! Take it! Take this comb away from me! I'm a monster and no one will ever think me lovely again! She got angry! What? What are you doing? Why are you... 
dude, did, did the dude die? Yeah, probably. Oh, snap. This ain't good. Gonna pop, daze them, and run away. See ya! <laughs> Goodbye. Leave me alone, please. Give me a break, guys. Oh, crap. This uh, this place is just filled with uh, with danger. Just uh, danger everywhere, especially when you, when you're actually in a uh, a bit of a rush and you just want to get to Darkshire and just turn the quest in. It's all I want to do. Oh, I'm stuck. What? The mistakes are massing. <laughs> One mistake after the other. Ah. Oh. The horror. Oh, it's a cool pet. Okay, let's turn in the uh, comb quest. One, 175? Really? Couldn't you have paid me like 10 silver? It would be much more appreciated. Like a errand, errand boy. 175, Jesus. And 200 experience. Whoop de, whoop de do. Bring the ghost of hair thread to Art Abercombe in his shack north of of the Raven Hill Cemetery. Yeah, that's for the embalmer. Gonna bring the hair back here. And yeah, that's the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. And I will see you next week for more warrior leveling. I wonder where the adventure gonna take us. See ya, guys.